Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Twitter and in this video I will show you the map that is currently in the beta called RD Asteroid, which also introduces a new game mode. So I was trying to make a video about this earlier, but the Fortress team have apparently did an update on the map which changed the map a ton. It's basically a new map on, on itself. He also did a change to Cactus Canyon, which I did make a video about uh, before this update. That changed some st stuff about the uh, Cactus Canyon, but I'm not going to make a video after I have the update. Uh, I'll probably do another video when the map is actually finished. Uh, same on this one, to see what the final result is in comparing to during the beta. And it changed, it's, it's much smaller now than uh, the first version that was in the beta. It's now basically. I would describe it as two fort in space, because uh, you, you know the bridge, right? The bridge on two fort, in the middle of two fort, and you got like the battlements where you can shoot from and whatever. You see that again in this map, and it feels a lot like CTF two fort, and plays a lot like two fort and uh, whatever. But that, that changed a lot about this map and basically a whole new map. And as I said, this also introduces a whole new game mode. And this game mode is called Robot Destruction. This is a hard one to explain. Uh, basically, there's some CDF mixed in there, and it feels a little bit like CDF. What you have to do is you have to go to the enemy base and you have to kill the robots that are present in their base. You got the robots A, B, and C divided into like three groups. And when you get those robots, they drop like, I'm not sure what they even drop, some kind of batteries. Uh, but if you pick those things up that they drop, you get points, you win points for your team. I assume it's just like, you have to charge up your reactor. You have to gather those batteries to charge up your, like, your reactor with <laughs> batteries, which don't really make sense, but whatever. And like... Obviously, Robots A point, uh, award a small amount of points, and Robots B a uh, medium amount, and Robots C like a big amount of points, whatever. Like each group has, has like a different grade of uh, the amount of batteries or whatever points they drop. And the closest one to the enemy spawn is obviously going to be the hardest one to reach, but it's going to give the most points. It's also like they updated this as well, but a uh, new like interface where you can see like the points and the bars going up and down and besides killing robots you can also like go to the enemy reactor which is very very hard to get to um, but it's definitely possible and it's like guarded with lasers or sneaky bots <laughs> so it's it's bit like it's very sneaky I love that like CTF is like sneaking in the enemy base and getting back out but this is even more so where you have to like sneak past the enemy lines. But anyways, as I said, you can like go to the enemy reactor. And when you go there, you stand there by the, the reactor and you gain like 5 points each second you stay there. You just can steal their points. You just steal the enemy points when you go to their reactor. It's very hard to get to, but when you're losing and the enemy is very close to winning, it might be a very good option to go there to prevent them from winning. I do have seen that sometimes this is a, very much a game changer if you go to the reactor. Like you can steal a lot of points if you're doing it well. Uh, but it's very hard and the enemy will get warnings that you're at their reactor so they will try to defend that reactor. That's just very much is a great game changer and it's neat little genius so you don't have to all the time just kill the robots and nothing else. It makes the game very much interesting. And so basically, in the addition of this killing the robots, they basically added CTF in there to help it along to make the game more in the game mode more interesting and whatnot. And you probably see also in this map there are a lot of textures still missing. And again, these maps are still in beta. That's also the reason why it took me so long for to make a video on this because there wasn't like an update that changed the map. And I had some footage recorded and I had to record a new one because the map the footage I recorded was all the way out of date. And it made me difficult to record some footage. Again, these maps are still very much work in progress. The, re the gameplay and the map you see here might not look anything like the final result. 
as was with the first version in comparing to this this version you see right here so there's a lot of changes going on and the map is much smaller and what I don't like about this is there used to be like a uh, pot below the bridge where you can go into the enemy base via second route now there isn't a second route there is only like the bridge the I feel like the team that holds the bridge is the team that is going to win that's basically it uh, sometimes a sneak a spy can sneak by and that's it but I feel like that's the downside about this map, that's only one route and the person that has the middle ground is, is basically probably going to win the game. Uh, but again, you can sneak up and go to the reactor and that's again is a game changer, which I, which I do love about this game mode. Other than that, it feels a lot like CTF, it plays a lot like CTF. I have to say, this is a good game mode. It's uh, it's much better than the latest new game mode they added, which was SD, I think. Um, SD Doomsday. A special delivery, that was the name, yes, I remember. Where you like just, it's basically a combination of CTF and King of the Hill. And I didn't like, really like the map either, so. But this one is a very neat one, and I do enjoy playing this map. And I can't wait to see the final results, and I hope it do, they do like add. Uh, more ways to get to the enemy base instead of just one main pathway, one main bridge, like in C CDF. But CDF, you got like a road on the below the bridge as well where you can go, and here you haven't got it anymore. And I hope they, sh they change that. Anyways, I hope you like like this video. Thanks for watching, and take care, folks. then heck yes yeah.